right, welcome back for another BioLite testing video. Today we're going to go ahead and cook a few things. Um, that seems to be the most requested kind of content, um, not only for myself, but for other people who have reviewed the BioLite. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. So I got my little uh, garage kitchen kind of set up here. This is just an old piece of countertop when we replaced our counters. This is the sink cut out, put it on a couple sawhorses. Um, today we're going to be testing out three different cooking methods. So we're going to boil one liter of water, see how long that takes. This is the grill attachment that comes along with the BioLite. And we're also going to go ahead and just try your standard camp pan. Uh, this is a Stanley, got it from Menards not too long ago. So we'll start out with some scrambled eggs and sausage. Alright, so I got some butter in the pan, got that heated up, ready to cook. Got it flowing. Uh, fire's pretty intense, so you don't want to overdo it. So go ahead and take it off the fire. Uh, this counter is uh, whatever, so I don't really mind if it um, gets a little burnt from a hot pan. It's just a garbage piece of counter. So I'll go ahead and throw my sausages in here. Let's go ahead and get these cooked up. Get those up to temp. Alright, we got them sausages done pretty quick. They're over here on the plates. Go ahead and uh, I bust them open, make sure that they're done, you know, all the way through. Uh, as far as your eggs go, they're going to cook pretty quick, so let's get right into it. give a scoop to each here on our little uh, camp pans, camp plates that came with this Stanley camp pan. We got Menards, not too expensive compared to the GSI and stuff like that. Does a pretty good job of the non-stick, but uh, could be better. That's probably just user error, right? So we'll get that last little scoop onto Kenzie's plate and we'll go ahead and bring her breakfast. No Teddy, the same for you. Breakfast. <laughs> this is a camp breakfast made out on the BioLite. Thank you. We're going to go ahead and move on to our next test, which will be the grill that came with the BioLite. And we're going to go ahead and make a steak because uh, who doesn't love steak? All right, well, I'm 100% sure you're supposed to do this with uh, no fire in there, but you know, safety Sally can eat it. So this is the grill that comes with the uh, BioLite. Uh, has two fold-out legs. To collapse, you just pinch them, just like a camp stove pan, and they fold down. Um, comes with a nice cover, which is pretty good to trap all those nasty, drippings that come off your food. So we'll just put the cover over in our garden cart over there and you line up. This is the grill up close. As you can see we've used it a couple times. Um, and just line up the, I'll show you quick, on the bottom you just line up this hole with the burn chamber like so. And it just kind of sits on there make sure it's stable you'll kind of feel, you know, it kind of sinks in there a little bit. And at this point, you can still open this grate up, which I'm sure is already hot. So I'll use a screwdriver. Open that up and you can still add your sticks and twigs in there to keep the fire going, keep your uh, grill nice and hot. I'm gonna go ahead and add a scoop or two of the wood pellets I have, keep the fire rolling, keep the grill hot. And that scoop of wood pellets really got the fire going, so I'm gonna let that cool down for just a second. It is nice that it uh, heats up the grill, because uh, when you throw a steak on the grill, you want it to sear. So we got a nice big old ball tip steak. It should cover most of the grill, but uh, this is definitely enough to feed two people. All right, 
I do avoid burning myself, kind of changed angles here, but uh, just literally a minute and a half on each side, and we have about medium, about medium. It's about where I like my steak. Um, it is just a ball tip steak, so nothing too special, but let's go ahead and give her a taste here. Use our patented spork. All right, moving right along to our last test. We have the BioLite kettle that they came, they sent along with the unit. Um, I measured out to one liter, exactly one liter that's stamped out. I measured to there, filled that up. So we're gonna boil one liter of water here on the stove. So we just passed six and a half minutes with it still on low and uh, we're starting to get a little bit of a rolling boil down in there you can see it's starting to pop off all right we got a full boil going go ahead and take that off the fire don't need it boiling over it instantly starts to cool down but uh fire's still going strong and it's took less than 10 minutes on low so that's pretty good i think you can I'm not sure, but you can look on the website, and I think on high you can get it done a lot quicker. Alright, just the final thoughts on the BioLite Camp Stove 2. On the website, it says that it boils one liter in four and a half minutes, which on high I'm sure is correct. The weight is 2.06 pounds. It has an onboard battery of an integrated 2600 milliamp battery, which can charge your devices with or without fire using the fire to charge it up or you can charge it via USB um, right now I noticed that they're having a Memorial Day sale and the camp stove itself without the grill attachment which I would suggest getting it without the grill or the kettle because you can get those or you probably already have those you can get that on their website right now for $112.46 Looks like they're running that Memorial Day sale until Memorial Day, probably. Um, I don't get anything from this. I just think it's a great product and you should check it out. Thank you. Thanks for watching.